a last alliance of men and elves will come together to defeat the Dark Lord and send him back to whence he came. Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to another Third Age custom scenario battle. It's been forever since I've last jumped into Third Age Reforged and for a lot of people, this is probably one of the greatest multiplayer ca uh, mods out there in Total War just in, in its entirety. It is an epic, epic mod and it has such a great community and if you guys want to go ahead and continue to see more of these third age reforged battles let me know in the comments down below drop a like drop a comment and if we get i don't know 300 likes of this video i'll do some more request some more replays and try and get some cool custom scenarios because yeah i'm a big fan of this and because i don't really do a lot of third age reforge it's always nice to dive in and just really take a look at such a spectacular mod like this and as you can see the battle line is absolutely huge i am one for battle lines and yeah this is definitely one so we have the forces of Arnor obviously holding down the front line with pikemen swordsmen archers and then they're going to be backed up by a army of elves obviously led by Elrond so Elrond's probably going to be scattered around here somewhere with his elite bodyguard ready to push back the Dark Lord I mean obviously for the Mordorian forces they have a ton of orc fodder on the front line to absorb some of these elven archer shots we got some Mornarian uh, archers um, and then we have the big boys back here the elite squads of Olakai who will just be charging in with so many cool weapons I mean they've got like hammers axes and just everything else like they just look really really cool we also have some nazgul here as well they're going to be here fighting in the battle ready for blood it looks like the textures are a little bit weird but i assume that's just because it's raining and that's why like everyone looks really muddy in the battle yeah, I, think, I guess it's just the rain kind of going off of their armor or something. But this should be a very, very exciting one. Just the huge scale of it. Things you can do in Medieval 2 are very, very cool. Let's just kick this one off. We'll dive straight into it and see how this one will play out as both sides exchange Archer Fire. Now, obviously, I'm not exactly um, known for Third Age. And I haven't really played Third Age Reforged in ages. So it's going to be quite hard for me to determine, like, who's winning engagements and what units are going to be what units. Um, so do just go ahead and give me a little bit of a break there. But it seems like both archers are exchanging pretty deadly volleys. And I would have assumed that the elves would just be slaughtering. But I guess with the uh, with the support of just the sheer numbers of the Uruk archers, it's giving them a very, very good shot at this. Because they are focusing down, obviously, all of the elves. And I guess because the elves have to really curve their formation like they're doing right now. They're not able to do as much damage. Yeah, these uh, these marksmen are moving up the Dunedain, and you can just see a lot of the uh, the elven archers are already dead, which is very surprising. They also have a unit out here, not really doing too much. So I imagine they're going to have to charge forward and um, push on. But yeah, I'm just really surprised. I thought the elven archers would be the like ones to slaughter, but it doesn't really seem like there is a a ton of elven archers. Mainly, most of the missiles come from Arnor, by the looks of it. And that's obviously going to give them a really bad disadvantage in this battle because if, if they lose the range fight, that's just going to be catastrophic for their, their positioning because you can see a lot of these, you know, all of these pikemen are just being slaughtered right now. I think more archers are being brought up to the front, but yeah, these uh, this front line of Arnor is just getting absolutely demolished. Like, how are you being out skirmished by orcs when you've got elves on your side? But if we take a look at the numbers as well in the orcs, you know, you, I guess it's kind of balanced that way. That, uh, it's not actually that many in these units, um, actually. This one only has 120, so only having 120 in a unit isn't actually that crazy as they reposition a lot more of their infantry. Yeah, why is everyone, like, so muddy in this battle? I guess it's just, like, the rain adds a mud effect or something. They just look really dirty. I guess they are, you know, preparing for battle. And I'm pretty sure I'm on the highest graphics because I had to reinstall. I mean, let's have a quick look. Uh, graphics, yeah, everything's on highest, so... They just must be really muddy. Especially the Olokai as well. They look really good though, like really good. For a game that's what, like 15 years old? Still never ceases to amaze me. Oh, I guess I do also have some Numenora and Shadow Guard, which are going to be a very, very valuable unit to out skirmish with. I kind of feel like the Last Alliance has to kind of start closing the distance because these that's arrow fire and that's not mixing something big. Just seems like it's really hurting them, like... The entire front line is just being destroyed. And if you lose these Arnor pikemen, I think this front line is just not going to be able to withstand the troll charges because that's going to be where it really, really hurts. Is when them trolls come in. And you know, the quicker you kill the trolls, the better it's going to be. 
can see another volley coming in. Also, guys, I'm recording this at 1440p, uh, like, actually, as the resolution. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. Hopefully, it turns out okay when I come to, to render it. You see a few? Oh, yeah, more Orc archers, man. There's just more and more. And the nice thing is about, I guess, the Mordor infantry is what they can do is they can just support, like, these or these archer positions with just, you know, weaker infantry, whereas uh, basically every unit over here is really, like, valuable for the elves and the, uh, the men of Arnor. We also have a unit of Minas Morgul chosen. These guys look really, really cool. I'm going to be getting ready to push forward, I think. Start closing the distance. Yeah, here we go. The Yorks have softened up the defences, and we are in a full-on charge right now. Wow, here they come. The men of Arnor hold your ground. The drummer trolls are in the background, hitting them, rallying the Yorks forward for Sauron. Here they come. The last alliance has properly kicked off. I mean, if we just zoom in, I mean, look at this. This does not look good in the minimap. For the forces of good. The drummer trolls rallying the men, pushing the orcs forward as arrow after arrow comes flying in. The elves are also charging in as the battle line just gets fully committed along every single position. This is a nice little defensive area for the forces of good because they have pikemen going through the elven shield wall. Lots of infantry clashing. I mean, this is epic, man. Now this, now this is epic oh yeah and the trolls are going into the center of this last central battle line is so thin the trolls are just gonna absolutely tear through them all missile fire needs to be focused on this the Olok High are not messing around and Sauron is looking for a quick victory breaking the center is gonna be huge and the right flank hasn't even committed yet to this battle more and more elves and men are going diving in against these Olok High Oh, these are just mountain trolls even. These aren't even Orok High. Wow. I mean, I guess they'll die a bit quicker then, which will be nice of them. I mean, my God, look at that battle, man. This is epic. We definitely miss third age battles. Like, field battles are fun. Siege battles can feel a bit grindy in Medieval 2 after doing them so many times. But field battles are fun, for sure. There's even Uruk archers. I guess maybe these Uruk archers have even run out of ammunition. As the elves really dive into battle, both sides clashing. If we zoom out as well, we can see the right flank is being completely pushed in by the orcs, using their numbers to completely surround. And we have kind of like, you know, more and more men just being thrown in. Obviously, the elves are going to just cut these, you know, orc archers out. And that's why they're going to be pulling out of this battle. But even still, it's going to be a very, very deadly show of arms. The elves on this right-hand side look like they've kind of got this cut down and, you know, they're, they're kind of holding it down. But the center, where Arnor are holding, just looks really, really desperate. I mean, the Arnorian pikemen on this flank are great, but yeah, the center has completely been ripped apart. Sauron has just literally got his fist and punched it through the center of the Last Alliance battle line. You can just see the orcs are overwhelming Arnor in the center. I mean, it's really hard to see who's who because there's no, like, definitive colours because everyone's just so fucking muddy. <laughs> Normally, the forces of good, like, shine, but I guess we are in a dark place. And the elves are now having to commit more men to this central position to try and stem the bleeding, but having the orcs just pushing through the centre is going to be so deadly. Luckily, a few of the, uh, the trolls are now going down, but even still, we have some really expensive units back here just getting hit away, and now the orcs are charging forward. I mean, only half of their force remains, but I don't quite understand, you know. Actually, it's 34%, so both sides have lost similar men. When it comes to it, now the Yorks are just getting onto this back line and causing a huge issue. I want to take a proper look at this far left flank. The far left flank is actually pretty decent for Arnor and the Elves. Yeah, they seem like they've kind of got this. The drummer trolls are in the distance. It's so cool. I'm mean, just listening to them. But it's such a cool unit, man. Oh, my God. I mean, look at that battle line just going off into the distance. That's epic, man. I can't believe they used epic in the normal term in 2019. <laughs> but it is. It's worth it. Hey, we're going back to 2001 when the Fellowship came out. That's what we want to see. So more trolls. You can see the trolls pushing on in the distance giving no quarter whatsoever. And this is going to be a pretty hard fight for the men at arms of Arnor because they're going up against some of the Minas Morgul Chosen and the Black Legion of Baradur. 
definitely not, you know, weak units. And that's one of the things I love about Third Age Reforged. Is just for like... And we'll use this camera as well because I love to see the like the denseness of the lines when we zoom over them. Um, that's one of the things I love about Third Age Reforged is that, you know, like most of the time in these mods, people just make the, the evil factions really shit because he is, oh, we'll give them loads of numbers and they'll, they'll still lose to the good guys. But, you know, that's kind of like how it is. But with Third Age Reforged, the evil factions are actually really, really good. And um, it's great to see that. Because they definitely put up a very, very good fight in, in any situations. And obviously they were. They were really strong. There's a reason why Sauron almost took over the entire world. It's not just because he had a lot of numbers. His orcs were also pretty decent. And he had all manner of creature helping him out. Over on this other side as well, we've got a kind of a nice little contingent of orcs going up against a Black Legion of Baradur. Baradur. They are being hammered by missile fire. How are the, um, how are the archers for the orcs they've still got so many more so this is a crazy thing it seems like a lot of the, the last alliance forces have been forced to commit their missiles just to hold the line whereas we still have all of these archers shooting and because they have the numbers they can kind of friendly fire the living shit out of their own men it's not a bad strategy the enemy are badly bloodied they have lost half their men so i think that's individual armies when it says that but we have over oh my god yeah 62 percent of the orcs are dead and over almost 60 percent of the of the elves i mean i really like this metric as well because you really get to see a good percentage like rather than like if one side has more numbers it might be hard to determine if they've like even down how much like percentage wise of their force they've lost but this is actually really nice in the balanced power bar It'd just be great if you could get rid of this goddamn camera map here in replays. It'd literally be the dream, and I don't think anything does it. So more Black Legion, a Baradur going in. We've lost half of our men. The pikemen are holding firm, though, along this line. And they seem like they've dealt with a lot of these mountain trolls. Sauron's will? Oh my god. The unit of Sauron's will? That must be a pretty strong troll unit. But, I mean, it's being focused down by a lot of missiles. Even though I think that's friendly missiles. They're going to be trying to surround this and push on. More orcs being sent over. More Black Legion to help support this fight. And they've also... Oh, this is Sauron's will, even. Yeah, these guys look deadly. Look at that. Maces. Huge Uruk swords. And they're coming into the side to go ahead and fight the Elder Spillman. How are we doing elsewhere? Because as we said, the center is completely broken. There's a few pockets of resistance scattered throughout the battle line. But I mean, just look at the bodies as well. This central battle line was completely ruined. Now the, the left flank for the forces of good have also been completely killed. Oh, the Uruk general going down though. Or at least one of the armies. This is like a four versus four. So it's, it's only one of the generals. But yeah, I did, we completely missed this, right, this left flank for the forces of good. But it seems like... They are being broken. Only a handful of elves still left remaining, fighting on. But for how long? I mean, these drummer trolls are really inspiring the Yorks to push on. We have some elven pikemen going in, and they're going to be a pretty strong foe. But again, these trolls. I think that central troll charge was just so good. And now we still have you know, a bunch of these Olokai over here as well. With only a handful of, like, Elven resistance. You can just see on the mini-map, like, there's a few of them scattered throughout the line. But, yeah, this is going to be... It's going to be up to their right flank to really hold on. We just zoom all the way in again. It's going to be up to this flank. And it seems like they've pushed really nicely. And that's, again, one of the things I really like about Medieval 2 is the way that you can actually see the, the ebb and flow of the battle, the push and pull. You really have that feel of it. I'm not sure if... I think that was the Elven General going down, yeah. So one of the Elven Generals is dead. Obviously, there's two generals for, for Arnor, four generals for Mordor, two generals for the elves. So look, let's, let's pretend like Elrond is actually still alive. Very, very nice engagement so far. The last alliance are being pushed to the brink. The balance of power has now shifted, but the number-wise, like, both sides have lost equal percentages, basically. The horns! That is no orc horn. Rally, men. If only there were some brave elves from, from Lorien coming. I assume, I assume the forces at Lorien did fight at the last alliance, though. So that must be Elrond. Elrond has been slain on the battlefield. 
because we've seen both the Elven Generals fall to the strength of Mordor. And look at this on the map, just all of these dudes shifting on. We'll zoom out again so you guys can see a bit more of the battlefield. So more Orcs are shifting over to his right flank to stop these archers from firing. They get one volley off before they do get collided and collapsed upon. We have some elves here as well, which would be perfect to turn around. I mean, they're being engaged upon. And they are killing quite a few of these Orcs, trying to kill the flag bearer. Take the eagle. Take the blessed eagle by Sauron. I mean, just look at that, though. Wow. All down this battle line, there are just bodies in there. Thousands. And this one is going to go down to the wire, I think, as more and more Uruks come flying forward. Uh, I guess the Uruks can start pushing up some of their really elite soldiers. Our army is tiring. Yeah, I mean, I, I would imagine. So you have some Templar executioners here as well for Mortal. Oh, wow. The Uruk pikemen are just kind of collapsing in. And if we zoom down this flank, we can see that, yeah, this, uh, this entire side has just been completely... Yeah, there's just nothing left. So this, all, this is all that remains by the elves. And there's not a lot of them really here at all. They've got what, a small contingent right here of brave, you know, pikemen and elven swords. But even they are going to be, you know, thrown in. Because even, like, I imagine these drummer trolls are still pretty decent in combat. Like, even if they're just... Drummer trolls, and they're, they're mainly there as like a standard to rally the orcs around them. But we still have them pushing, and all hope is not lost, you know. In Medieval 2, the balance of power bar doesn't mean as much as it does in like Warhammer. So there is still hope, even if it's just a fool's hope. If they can hold firm, maybe kill some of these Nazgul. Yeah, look at that. You've got the Nazgul in here as well. Cutting down the elves, though. And, I mean, at the end of the day, it does seem like the orcs have lost... Like, they've lost 2% more of their force. They just, I guess, you know, they're, they just have more numbers to begin with. And I think that's the last Arnor general as the uh, Black Guard of Barador, the Black Legion of Barador rally. I think that might be all the generals... But again, the Orcs are running out of numbers. And they are routing here. You've got some men charging down the hill at them. Have they learned nothing from 12-12? And now the Orcs are pushing. And I guess if they can just hold this battle line, then maybe they stand a chance. But the Drummer Trolls are arrived. I mean, yeah, I think the Drummer Trolls are being committed now. Just for shock value. The Pikemen are going to be able to turn around, though. And probably do some decent damage. I imagine Pikemen are better at killing, like, trolls and... You know, Muma kill and, you know, best units like that. But they could try and cause a big rout, considering, you know, these men are exhausted. They don't have... I think they have one general left, maybe. I don't remember the, the last Arnorian general. Oh, and a unit of Olokai! And we have some more Templar executioners over here as well. As they just come flying in. I guess to try and deal with this on this flank. Because this is a pretty decent one. Yeah, silencing these archers is going to be big. The Arnorian archers are going to be turning around and I guess just volleying in. The trolls are coming flying in though, yeah, hitting the missile units. The Arnor horn sounds and the last kind of like 12, 10 men go flying into battle. Surprised there's no cavalry for the elves and humans. Like, there's no cavalry in this battle. Pretty surprised there. I guess that was probably like a, a rule or something for them not to bring any cavalry. There's only three drummer trolls left on the field now. With all of the like halberds and, and pikes going in. I think they'll be able to kill them, but there's still an entire another unit of drummer trolls. And also we got this dude right here, the lone Olokai, or lone mountain troll, just ready for combat. Look at him go. That's Auron! Bands of power, though, is still very even. The orcs only have 94% of their army, like, like only 6% of their army left, whereas the elves have still have that 8%. But their army was just bigger in general. And they had some blade masters out here. I mean, these guys, after routing these uh, archers, will be such a valuable unit. Like, I imagine this unit will just tank so much damage. So if they can get over here, kill these orc archers, 
But it's just all the trolls that are left remaining on the piles of dead. And the drummer trolls are keeping these orcs in line. But I don't think they need to be kept in line. There's so much good quality units here. You know, having the Numenorean Shadow Guard. More else those just surrounding these trolls. And the Olokai going down. Only one unit of Olokai left. And this one has also gone down as these animation bugs out. So that's, I think that's all the Olokai. All the trolls besides that one lone mountain troll. And there's the Nazgul has been killed, the Witch King has been slain. I assume the Witch King was probably out of this battle, I don't actually know. Let me know in the comments down below. I mean, maybe he was up in, in the north. He was probably actually up in the north, right? Because they, they probably, they probably defeat. yeah, they would have defeated Angmar separately. And then buried him in the tombs. More Orc infantry being thrown into this fight. Looking to cut off their last hope. I mean, they only have 94%. This battle is going to be very close. The Elves, I guess, need to rally over here if they can. Where did them Blade Masters go as well? The Blade Masters are all the way down here. Yeah, there's only, what, there's 41 of them left, though. And that's going to be pretty useful. Especially if they rear charge into these Numenorean Shadow Guard. But the trolls, man. The trolls. There's only one unit of these guys left. But, they, you know, as long as they stick... Oh, yeah, there is literally only one unit of them now. And these exhausted elves covered in mud. Head to toe in the pouring rain. Are going to be engaging now. I mean, this is going to be like make or break right here. You can just see the quality of these elves cutting down the orcs. The horns of these trolls. Yeah, if these trolls stay alive, the orcs will stand. Bands of power as well is really shifting in favor. I don't know. I don't know. Like I assume the right hand side is the orcs and the left hand side is the elves. Like the red is the elves, but maybe not. Maybe blue is good and red is evil. I honestly don't know, because in other Total Wars, it's like the other way around. So I'm just not actually sure who the battle... I guess we'll see when it really goes down to, like, winning. But I'm assuming this blue bar is Elven. Uh, it is the evil side. It's Sauron. And Mordor. We actually have a nice little cleanup operation going on here, though. If they can rally right here and then kill the... We can't zoom in anymore, can we, you know? If they can deal with this, like these temple guards, and then charge forward, but I mean, with trolls, man, how are they going to kill the trolls? There's like nothing left. There's like two, yeah, there's literally one elf here. The blade masters are being enveloped now. They have just routed both. Every, it, does, it sounds kind of crazy. They've routed seven javelins, but at this point, it really matters. We have some of the Nazgul charging in as well. And even, even these Blade Masters are going to struggle to kill the Nazgul. That horn is going off constantly. I mean, what a battle this last alliance has been. But more elves charging in, in the rear. That's going to really help out. And we are literally going down to the last hundred or so men now. That is what this battle has devolved into. You just think Elrond, I mean, Elrond's dead right now. But you think Elrond or, like, Sealdor could just quickly run off to Mount Doom. You know, there's hardly anyone left. Mordor has been emptied. Just quickly, whilst this last battle goes off, run off to Mount Doom, destroy the ring. It's pure profit right there. I say the Blade Masters are putting up a good show. There's just still so many Nazgul left remaining. There's not, the Nine are still there. And we've got these drummer trolls as well. The elves are breaking. And I think that's going to be all she wrote. I think the forces are good after this insane battle. Look at this. I mean, just take a look at this battle line. After this huge engagement, I think the last alliance has failed in destroying Sauron and the ring. And 
all hope is lost. I mean, Sauron has lost a lot of soldiers, but again, he'll just spawn more. It's not like that's going to really set him back too far. And we'll, we'll, we'll watch his last brave elves be cut down. There's only a handful of them left. These drummer trolls, I think, really paid like a huge part, part in the battle. Because without them, the Orcs would have routed a long time ago. They also lost a large portion of their generals. Yeah, indeed it does. So it does also seem like this blue bar is the enemy and the red is good. And there we go. That's going to be it. We'll, we'll triple speed through this last little stand. As the brave men of Arnor. Oh, is that the, is that the general? I think that, is this the field? The field door? Maybe. It looks like it is. That's awesome. I mean, he's being cut down right now because that looks like um, Narsil. Yeah, that is actually a field door. That's awesome. A field door. A field door? I can't even pronounce it. There we go. The battle is over. The last alliance has been victorious. The field door was slain by the Nazgul. What a battle that was. Um, so yeah, guys, if you want to see more third age, you want to see more massive battles like this, let me know in the comments down below. And also, look at the numbers as well. We had like pretty big battle going on in this one. Well over 10,000 soldiers from Medieval 2. That's pretty goddamn epic. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the kills. We can only unfortunately see the kills on the allied or only two factions. Wow, that's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, if we take a look at the kills, so casualties inflicted, these sentinels got over 300 kills, that's pretty gnarly, and then over on this elven side, wow, look at all these kills, 300 kills on the general, the guardians, well over 300 kills on both of these units. Oh, man, that's, that's pretty goddamn nice. So there we have it. That is going to be Third Age Reforged, the last alliance battle. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.